Hey, it's Aurelius. In this video, you'll learn eight useful and interesting websites you'll use someday. Starting with the first website. Have you ever wanted to know what a website looked like back in the days? For instance, what did YouTube look like in, let's say, 2006? Well, here it is. You've got YouTube and during its early stages, you can check out what it looked like. And you can search up any website and its history using a website called Wayback Machine. Think of Wayback Machine as the time capsule of the internet. All you need to do is type in the URL, let's say youtube.com, which we've already searched. And then where you see the blue bubbles, you can basically take a look at all the screen captures that it's taken on that day. So in this case, we've got 12 snapshots. And once you've clicked on any of those dates and captures, you'll see the web page and you can go through the timeline by simply hovering over and then clicking on any of the areas. So let's say May 30th, 2011. So now we're on YouTube, but on May 1st, 2011 and check out what it looked like back then. So Wayback Machine is not only useful if you want to check out the history or need to do a bit of research, but you can also use it if you're bored or if you simply want to have a little fun checking out a website's history. Next up, have you ever wanted to remove the background from a video? Well, there is a tool, it's called Unscreen. What you do is you simply drag and drop your video file directly on the web page, let it process the video, and in just a few seconds, it's removed the background as best as it could. What you can also do is change the background. So let's say this ice rink, or we can upload our own background. And once you're ready to download it, simply hit the download button. Canva also has a built-in video background remover, as you can see right here. If you click on the video that you've uploaded, click on edit video, you'll see background remover. However, it is for pro members only, and that's the downside of it. Moving on to the next website. Have you ever sat down on a Friday night, for instance, and you're thinking about what to watch or you're flicking through Netflix or Hulu, whatever? Well, there's a website called a good movie to watch. And once you're on there, you can actually see the most popular movies and it's categorized based on the different types of services, let's say Netflix. And now you see a list of popular suggestions on Netflix, you can see, and also sort by popular, top or new. Now how this website actually categorizes popular shows and movies is based on the IMDB uh, ratings. So it's gotta have a score of at least seven out of 10 on IMDB and combined with a 70% critic approval score on Rotten Tomatoes. So if you're like me, endlessly scrolling and browsing through Netflix to decide on what to watch so it's worth my time, then check out a good movie to watch the next time you go on Netflix or any of the other services. Next up, we've got a website or more so a tool that allows you to put artificial lighting on any image of yours. It's called Relight by ClickDrop and all you need to do is simply drag your photo. So I've got this one right here of mine. Once it's uploaded, what you can do is add these lights. So you can change the direction and changing the colors too. So if you don't like green, you can change it to something like uh, yellow and that'll change everything as you can see. You can delete the lights. Let's say you do not want the light three. We can click on light three, click on delete and there we go. Otherwise you can add a new light and place it where you want. Change the color to something like purple, which we originally sort of had. We can also change the amount of light going to the photo. And now here's the before and after. So if you don't have any lights handy, RGB lights that is, then you can use ClickDrop's Relight tool to add that artificial lighting as you can see. Moving on, we've got a tool that allows you to isolate the voice from any music tracks. So it's called Vocal Remover. All you need to do is grab your audio file. I've got my demo audio right here and I am simply uploading it, dragging it to the interface. All right, so the audio is uploaded. What I'm going to do is play it so you can hear what it sounds like in its current state. So a few seconds of this. Using this single tool I'm about to present to you, you can create e-commerce stores such as this ebook store. All right, so you can hear the music and also my voice in the background right there. So you can actually reduce the amount of voice or music and vice versa, right? So if I click play. Using this single tool I'm about to present to you, such as now it's just the music so i can basically adjust the amount of vocal or the amount of music playing so let's say this music is quite loud let's reduce it down somewhere around i don't know 20 percent here and play it types of digital products in this case we are selling ebooks customers so that's vocal remover in a nutshell. There are other tools that you can use on vocal remover, such as a pitcher, cutter, joiner, recorder, karaoke, and key 
beats per minute finder. How are you liking this video so far? Let me know by giving this video a quick thumbs up. Now let's continue with the video. Next up, we've got a website that allows you to see the best time to buy a particular product. For instance, I searched for Logitech Brio 4K webcam. And now with this website, I can see what the highest price is and when that was priced at and when the lowest was. So 121 on August 20th, 2022. The website I'm referring to is called Camel Camel Camel. So three times what it'll help you do is it'll give you notifications of any price drops. It'll also show you price history charts. So if you've got a couple of things on your wish list, make sure you use camelcamelcamel.com and then the best thing to do is enter your email. So when the price actually does drop by a certain amount, then you can track it and get alerted. Next up, this tool allows you to create a custom avatar like this right here. You can customize the gender, you can customize the face and the shape, the hair, the eyebrows. You can see the range of different eyebrows, eyes down to the mouth, clothes as well. And you can change the nose as well. Uh, we can add a beard like so. And people actually create this and they actually sell it as NFTs. It's just one idea. Otherwise, if you, let's say, want to create an anonymous uh, bio or a profile online, then you can use uh, Ava Maker to create one. Once you're done creating your avatar, simply click on download, download as a PNG or SVG. All right, and finally, this next website allows you to download over 60,000 free eBooks. It's called Project Gutenberg and it's free because it's in the public domain. But for instance, this classic book, this self-help book called The Science of Getting Rich is freely available. You can download it in any of these formats. Let's say you simply want to read it online. You can select the HTML form and here it is, The Science of Getting Rich and simply scroll and read through the ebook. With over 60,000 free ebooks, I'm sure there's at least one ebook that you can start reading today. All right, all in, those are the eight useful websites. Let me know in the comments which of these websites you enjoyed or found interesting. I'd love to know. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and I'm looking forward to sharing the next video with you.